Because until we get that mindset of going all in on that hand that we've been given, we're, we're just, we're letting life happen to us rather than us using the life that we've been given. You know, if I would have gotten on Facebook Live and I would have heard uh, what I'm saying now, i had been like, man, screw this guy. You know, he doesn't understand my situation, right? He doesn't understand where I'm at. He doesn't understand, understand how bad this situation that I'm in right now sucks. He doesn't understand how terrible my boss is. He doesn't understand how horrible my significant other is or how bad this situation is with my family or my job or whatever. And I can imagine some frustration there. And, and so I, I want to tell you this, that like I, I was there, like I was there. Um, but here's what I know. And, and ultimately, you know, what I came to that realization that everything that had happened to me, everything that was happening to me, everything that I had done, the situation that I was in, that financial situation, physical situation, um, relationship, that's situ like, it was all my fault. At the end of the day, it was all my fault. Um, and that's ultimately the realization that you have to come down to is that everything that has happened to you and everything that you are doing, it's, it's your fault. It's like you break the handcuffs that are on you. It's, it's this blaming everybody else on your circumstance. When you take those fingers and point them back at yourself, it's liberating because you realize that if everything is my fault, if I got myself to where I am today, then I can get myself out of it. And whether that's good or bad, your life, exactly where you are right now, is just a sum total of all the decisions and choices that you've made. Again, good or bad. And I get like, you know, things that happened to you as a child, things that happened like, you know, things that you can't control, some of those. That wasn't your fault, but allowing it to still resonate and still fester inside you and still be causing issues 10 years later, five years later, 15 years later, that's your fault, right? And I think it's through overcoming those things and it's through taking ownership of the hand that we're dealt and saying, hey, this is my situation, but here's what I'm gonna do about it. It is in that process that we ultimately determine who we really are. And so in that, it is not who we are that's given to us in that hand we're dealt. Who we are is determined by what we do with that hand that we're dealt right? But the only way that we can go all in on that hand is if we look at that hand as, as, as a gift, I was given this hand and it is a gift given to me so that I can show what I can do with it. And you know what happens when you, when you do play that hand like it's the one you wanted when you do go all in when you do you know, work and work and work to become the best versions of yourself you know what you do when that happens you give hope to the next person that's dealt a bad hand